What's good everyone, Night Cage here. Wow, welcome to my update, man. And this has been a long time coming. We are about two weeks away from the Blood Angels uh, new codex release. And I am so excited. Um, I've taken a long hiatus from Warhammer 40K for some time now. Um, been having a lot of time, a lot of fun playing miniature football. And really, you know, I felt like I've been kind of in limbo um, because all of the other armies, most of them anyway, have gotten new codices. And uh, the Flesh Terrors, which I love to play, um, the Flesh Terrors. And so since the Blood Angels don't have a new codex um, and is still playing a 4th edition slash 5th edition codex, um, I was a little frustrated. So I took a little break. Um, now I am excited because we have a new book coming out. And there's been a lot of new um, a, not, a lot of new novels that have been released in particular for the Flesh Terrors. Um, which is a Space Marine chapter that I really love. It's a second founding chapter. Um, rooted. Is, is descended from the, the Blood Angels Legion uh, when the Blood Angels was a legion um, during the heresy. Um, well, the chapter was created after the heresy, but second founding Space Marine chapter, a lot of flavor, a lot of charisma, um, really, really nice background, controversial chapter, so it makes them very dynamic. I like that about the Flesh Terrors. Um, some years ago, about six years back, I set out to create the entire Flesh Terrors chapter. Uh, at the, and, and, and at that time, the Flesh Terrors only had four full battle companies. Right? Um, since that time, I've purchased Beneath the Flesh. I've purchased the Trial by Blood. Um, I've purchased the... Um, Know Thyself, and I've purchased another novel about the Flesh Terrors. All of these was written are written by Andy Smiley, um, awesome author. I love the way that he writes. And uh, since reading these novels that talk specifically about the Flesh Terrors, the things that the Flesh Terrors have been doing and the trials that they've been going through and um, all the everything that the chapter has, has been up to, um, I really wanted to get to know this chapter. So, I've completely re-envisioned the Flesh Terrors after reading these novels. I am involving all the characters from the novels. Um, I'm creating characters from every one of those characters from the novels. And what I have for you right here so you guys can see is my Flesh Terrors full death company with a full reclusium. Now, you'll have to excuse me because it's still coming together. It is not all painted. Um, it's a, probably about 65% done. Um, so, without further ado, let me introduce you guys. Of course, you guys, those of you that's been watching my videos, you already know my chief chaplain. This is Carnivon. He is the only chaplain in the entire chapter with Terminator armor. He's the only one. The others um, will be named later. Um, this chaplain here, this is my reclusium by the way, let me show you. So these are my eight chaplains. So this is my Flesh Terrors chapter reclusium. Right? So the reclusium, this is all eight chaplains. They're not all done yet. I have a ways to go. Um, some of these I recently acquired and so I'm going to be repainting them like this chaplain here um, he's gonna I'm gonna be repainting him um, this chaplain is brand new I need to paint um, this chaplain here Drago I'm gonna be repainting him as well um, Cairo I recently finished so you guys can see Cairo here recently finished this is Kron right here um, also finished. This right here is Apollos. Apollos is 
from the Trial by Blood book where Chapter Master Seth, Gabriel Seth, is on trial. And I'm going to have to make this a completely separate video so I can talk to you guys about this. He's the only chaplain in the entire chapter that has a power fist um, and his Rosarius as well. Um, the only chaplain in the whole chapter who has a power fist. And he has a lot of character, Apollos does, um, in the in the Trial by Blood novel. Um, so he's going to play a huge role. I'm going to definitely have him in the role that he actually plays um, in the novel. So I'm really trying to make my Flesh Terrors more cinematic. Um, and that is a whole nother thing that I'm gonna we're going to be doing with our new battle reports. We have two campaigns coming up. Um, for my Flesh Terrace chapter, um, they're going to be doing the Shield of Ball campaign um, against my boys, uh, Tyranids. So that's a new campaign that we got coming up. And I also have another campaign coming up for my Corn Army, um, my Chosen of Angron Legion, who are going to be taking on the Salamanders. So that's another campaign that we have coming. This is going to be after the new year. So let me show you what I have so far. Um, so that was my Reclusium right there, eight chaplains. All right, now on to my death company. So, so you can see here, and uh, sorry, it's it's not um, zooming in well, guys. But this is um, so. This is my first squad. Now this death company squad here has a mixture of chain swords and power weapons. Um, they are going to be riding in the Land Raider that you see here. This Land Raider is documented as you see on the side. Bane of Lazarus. This is Bailey O10. This was the Lazarus campaign um, that this Land Raider participated in in the first Tyranid invasion that I did five years ago um, when I did not have as many death company. Um, second death company squad here with jump packs. Third Deaf Company squad here, also with the jump packs. Okay, and then I have a new Deaf Company squad back here that I need to get painted. I have two Deaf Company dreads, both with blood talons. Then this is my fifth Deaf Company squad of 10. This is my sixth Deaf Company squad of 10. All of these have jump packs. Mixture of power weapons, chain swords, power fists, as you can see here. Um, power fists, power swords, thunder hammers. This squad, for example, has two thunder hammers. As you can see, very expensive squads. This is a squad that I recently acquired from my brother. Um, and I need to get them painted. They're gonna get repainted. And I'm taking some of the arms off because I'm gonna be changing some of their weapons. Um, for power weapons, power axes, power um, power fists, so forth. And then this is my last Death Company squad right here. This particular one has, as you can see, has two power fists um, in this squad, along with actually three power fists in this squad, along with the chainsaw. So a whole mixture, guys, a grand total of about 78 um, Death Company with jump packs. And this right here is going to be the captain. Um, I just finished working on his shield. As you can see, uh, this shield actually came from War uh, Warriors of Chaos from Fantasy. I shaved all the Chaos iconography off and put Blood Angels um, insignias on it to make his shield. And he is going to be an actual Death Company Captain. This is a character that I've created for the Shield of Ball campaign that we're gonna be doing that's based on one of the novels, the Flesh Terror novels that I've been reading. Um, a captain that has fallen to Death Company. Um, and in our campaign, he is actually going to be using, uh, he's actually gonna be a captain. He's gonna be using captain stats, um, war gear, and everything uh, with Death Company rules. So it's going to be very interesting for that campaign. Um, just to give you guys a little background on the campaign that we're going to be doing, the Reclusium is going to be involved. As you know, the Tyranids are invading Ball. 
and the flesh terrors have, have answered the call to come and help the blood angels, as well as all the other second founding um, blood angel successor chapters are returning back to Ball to also to help out with the blood ain't with the um, tyranny invasion. So um, this is going to be a pretty extensive campaign. It's going to be a lot of fun. And I just wanted to get a chance to show you guys what I have so far. So this death company is going to be unleashed on the incoming Tyranids. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, man. I'm going to I'm going to let you guys go now and um, definitely comment, write, subscribe. Let me know what you think about what I have so far. This is a, my full death company and I I believe that I am near nearly complete um, collecting my flesh terrors for full companies. I have a um, my older videos you guys can see the other battle companies that I put together but I've since revised them. So building up to the Blood Angels Codex release um, and I have a really good feeling that there's going to be some cool rules and things in there for the Flesh Terrors also. But building up to the release of the new Codex, I am going to be going through all of my battle companies and sharing all of the changes that I made with you guys and showing you some of the new, um, going through some of the new 7th edition things that I think the Blood Angels um, and all the successor chapters are going to be able to do. And I'm excited, so I can't wait to um, to get this thing underway, and for you guys see to see our new Shield of All um, campaign that we have coming around the corner um, at the beginning of the new year. Thanks for watching. Peace.